Hello, welcome back to Rainbow Fish. It's day nine of Vlogmas today. So what I was thinking we could do, my Joy-Con's not working. <laughs> There we go, okay. What I was thinking we could do is um, like a carnival. Um, however, I'm out of inclines. So, um, I mean, I will be because of the big build I have planned for all of this. It involves like six inclines. Actually, I think seven. And then I've used three over here. So, I think the carnival is going to be just on the bottom level and I was thinking here maybe between so this is where the neighborhood ends and then this is Santa land so I was thinking maybe I have a little bit of like forest back here and then have the carnival here how much space are we working with feels like a lot the other option is to do it up here in front of like Santa's workshop, um, which kind of leads down to the beach. Maybe we could incorporate the beach at some point. Maybe some, oh my gosh, I totally forgot Cap'n was even over here. Hi, buddy. Um, anyway, those are the two options. I kind of think I actually like the idea of doing it down here better. So maybe we'll do that. I got some different colors of the rope partition. The wedding fencing is just so much easier because I'd have to order so many of these. I mean, so many of these. So I think I'll probably stay with the wedding fencing. Also, the rope partition, it does come in gold, but the gold is so ugly. And the kind of gold on the wedding fence is less offensive. <laughs> offensive. So yeah, update on that. I also don't know what I'm gonna do here with my house. I feel a little bit confined, <laughs> literally, <laughs> um, with my options now. I mean, I know it doesn't have to be symmetrical and I could just, I could leave this here, I'll leave this wall here, but I could do anything here. But I don't know. Anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Also, I was thinking if we had the plaza or the like carnival here, we could have um, like the road path kind of going in front of this stuff, sort of leading you somewhere. <laughs> um, I don't know what's gonna happen here, so I don't know what um, what that transition would look like. But maybe we could do that as well. So let's see, let's get rid of these trees. Actually, I don't have any pocket space for trees. So let's put some stuff down. <laughs> let's get a look at what we've got, what we're working with. Definitely turn that off and never turn it back on. I don't really like this color variation. I think they're all the same, like I think this is vivid, and this is vivid, and this is vivid, but I don't like these colors. I think this is like more Christmassy, but there's also a very green version. So I was thinking green might be an option too. These are just like, I feel like the most Christmassy colors apart from the green. But the thing about the green colorway, I'm not sure what color the elephant is that comes with the green set. I think it might be yellow, which I definitely don't like. Look at this guy. Ugh, so much stuff to pick up. What even are these? Oh, golden shovels. <laughs> okay, good to know. We need to turn that off too, just for sanity's sake at least right now. So lots of things happening here, as you can see. And as usual, I have no idea what I want to do. No real plan of action. Just gonna wing it as per usual. Is there something I can eat that I can get all of these trees with? How about a pizza?
just gonna stick these back here for now. One thing I am imagining is like the, um, uh, like the illuminated trees by the entrance. And maybe like, I don't know, I was thinking the frozen sculpture or the illuminated trees, but I don't know that they'd really look good together. So I think it's gonna be one or the other. But these just seem very like, theme parky to me you know <laughs> i don't know i think that might look kind of cool at night so i think i do want let's see what we have what do we have pathing wise i think i do want path under all of it um i think that will probably look the best maybe this under all of it but maybe i could just do this everywhere or i could do the same thing i did in the neighborhood and have like a big um, octagon. Let me go look at it in the neighborhood really quick. I think all the houses are done now, right? Yeah. Look at our little Christmas village. Oh, they look so cute. Oh my gosh, look at all these mushrooms. Um, they look so cute. Oh, precious. I love this. I'm gonna have to work on, oh, oh wait, that was there to stop the flowers from growing because I don't really know. Um, I'm probably gonna like fix the yards up more. Um, let's get any other mushrooms that are out because in game it's the 30th, which means tomorrow they'll disappear if they haven't been harvested. All right. Um, what? Oh yeah, I forgot to even look at the path. Wow. So like, what if we just had one big octagon like this, but filled in in the middle, which is with the um the street that could be good and i feel like it's a similar amount of space like the amount of space there is for the neighborhood and the amount of space we have at the bottom left okay let's do that so what i'm gonna do is um cut here <laughs> lay the path and come back um because we know from day three that that's gonna take a long time and it's going to be um, probably frustrating and not that interesting to watch. What should we center this on is a great question. Um, let's consult the map. Oh gosh. Okay, hold the phone because my plan for like what's going around the plaza actually is going to take up more space than I thought. Did I mark that out somewhere? I don't think I did. Okay, well hold on because I need to do that. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you, do you want to move? Damn it. That took way longer than it should have, but I'm glad I did that because look how much room that takes up on the map. That sort of changes things. Obviously that's like the main event, but um that makes things a little difficult for my yard also i'm gonna have to destroy my rock garden because it goes right through two of them i left it there in case i could use it but it doesn't look that way <laughs> okay i'm gonna do pathing i'll be back okay it has been a very long time potentially hours I actually don't know what time it was when I stopped recording, but it's not 2.30 in the morning in real life, so I have to go to bed and I have to finish this tomorrow. So I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day, feeling mildly refreshed. This really took it out of me last night. <laughs> um, and this is kind of what we are dealing with. So I put a little bit of fencing down. I did, oh yeah, there was a lost item dropped right here and I didn't want to pick it up. So I just... <laughs> path around it and I was like I'll deal with that tomorrow <laughs> okay so not really sure what's gonna happen here so um the build that I plan to like have take up the whole like quarter of my island actually takes up way more than that like over half so I really didn't expect like the corner of it to be like right here in relation to my house so, I mean, we're gonna be learning together. That, I'm not really not sure how that's gonna go. It would probably be a good idea to start on that sooner rather than later so that, you know, we can kind of adjust as we need to. But um, that's a problem for future Rosie. So, let's see. 
Oh no, what is all this? Okay, so I have some stuff in here. All right, so I liked the trees at the entrance and we could do the frozen sculptures too. I kind of liked how they looked together. If you hear any sort of chaos in the background, Prometheus has the zoomies right now. Actually, I could take... Chaos. Well, that's what happens when you go sliding around the house. You get hurt. Yeah. Let's put down the big ticket items. What should go right in the center? Do we think like the giant elephant? <laughs> Just like, hello. Um, I don't really like these anymore. <laughs> that didn't take long, but I just decided I don't like them. Um, and then we should probably have some sort of like check-in desk here. I definitely pulled out a reception desk. I don't like the color that this is, but just to get an idea. And then a little cash register. Oh, I forgot this was green. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want that there anyway. I don't know, what colors does the arched reception counter come in? Of course, I don't have them all cataloged. The blue might work. I mean, it's a little bit hospitally. I think it comes in pink too, actually. And I know it comes in black. Um, so we'll put a pin in that. Okay, so do we like the elephant, <laughs> the giant elephant right in the center? I mean, what purpose does he really serve? Like, oh my gosh, he wobbles. <laughs> Is he like a bouncy house? Can you like bounce? Like maybe there's, oh wait, we can turn him around. What you working with back here? <laughs> Um, I don't think you're actually supposed to go inside. <laughs> I think he's just for decoration. So I guess it makes sense to put him in the middle. It's so like ugly. I mean, cute, but like tacky. You know what I mean? That I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sold, which is on, like on this whole idea, which is unfortunate because well, one I spent <laughs> very long time doing the pathing for this area but also I don't know I just think that like I think that I just don't like carnivals is the thing <laughs> so I'm kind of like uh, like why why am I doing this also I made this I think probably way too big because I kind of thought that this was going to take up more room because all of these things are big but I guess they're not really that big like I don't think any of them are bigger than three by three hmm <laughs> because that is big and shush that's big and that's big shush but like that leaves so much space in between everything it just doesn't look very nice Hmm. Having second thoughts. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I just really don't like the way any of this stuff looks. The only thing I like is the merry-go-round. And honestly, I can put the merry-go-round in the big build that I'm doing. And I feel like it would make sense. But everything else, I just, I don't really like the way that it looks. So, <laughs> oh, why am I like this? So what should I do with all of this then? <laughs> because um, it took a long time to do and I'm not undoing this pathing. I really do not want to do that. So what can we use this space for? Let's put all this crap away while we think about it. Okay, have we had any thoughts? Not recently. <laughs> I know what we could do. What if we did like an ice skating rink? Ugh, it's gonna require some path adjustment. 
Um, unless we just wanted the ice ring to be this. Uh, what if we did that? And then it could be like a little park, maybe. Some little parky areas. Um, some bushes, flowers, that kind of thing. And it could be like a ice rink in the center. Is there an ice pattern? That's just one pattern that I could use because I do not have room for a like nine tile path situation. Cause I know there are some good ones like that, but I don't have room for that. What do we think? Ice, ice rink? Let's try ice. Hmm, that's kind of good. Maybe this will work. It's pretty simple. Maybe that's actually too light because like it doesn't really look that different from just white when it's covered in snow, right? Oh, this little tree skirt is so cute. I keep seeing this on Pinterest, but I don't have four spots for it to take up. Tragic. Okay, I like this. Let's get it. Oh yeah, it's way better. Okay. Be smart. Okay, how big of an ice rink do we want? I would say definitely a rectangle. Okay, so another like hour gone and I have redone the pathing, even though I said that's exactly what I didn't wanna do. Oh well. Um, let's see what kind of fencing we should put around the ice rink. Okay, so I was thinking either iron fencing or maybe even like log fencing would be cute. I could try the ice fencing too. I feel like the ice fencing is kind of cool. And like, you don't really get a lot of opportunities to use the ice fencing. Hello? No, not there. What do we think? I kind of think ice fencing is the way to go. I think ice fencing or iron fencing. I should have looked up the recipe for ice fencing. Probably takes large snowflakes and regular snowflakes if I had to assume. And hopefully nothing other than that. I guess I didn't have to pick up the frozen fencing I'd already put down. Oh my gosh, the perfect amount. Okay. Um, beautiful. Do you know how long you have to wait for the yoga reaction to get to this part? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Was it worth it? Yes. Adorable. Okay, so what else? Um, we definitely need some benches. Let's get some benches up in this. We need benches, we need bushes, and we need, what's something else that starts with a B that we need? <laughs> Actually, this could be a cute place to have, um, some little like tables and chairs too. I have a lot of iron furniture, that could work. Yeah, I got a lot of iron furniture. I wish that it wasn't all white though. Well, everything's gonna be snowy. I mean, here's a question. Should I, let's see how it actually looks. So if, with all the ice and everything, if I'm doing like white um, iron garden furniture, should I just sort of commit to the white thing and have like all of the decorations be white. Should I make these white? And should I maybe put another fence around it so that it's all white? I feel like I should have one on both sides, but the other one I have is green currently, so I need to fix that. Um, right, so should everything be white here? Ugh, there's more space on this side. That's annoying. <laughs> You're never gonna see both sides at one time, so who's gonna know? Just have some little like hot chocolate spots, you know? You know, you know the vibes. Um, I didn't actually pull out any chairs, it turns out. Nice one. Because today was such a fail, um, I unfortunately think I'm not gonna be able to like totally finish this because obviously I have to get it up. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of finish with what's in my pockets now basically and we can revisit it tomorrow. One day I will complete a build in its entirety <laughs> in one video, <laughs> one day.
I wish the park fence came in white because I really like that fence, but... Oh my gosh, I'm one customization kit short. That's so annoying. Uh, I don't even know if I have any in here. If I don't, I'm just gonna end the video in defeat. I'm just gonna call it a day. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have any in here. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, stop there and um, we will resume this tomorrow. I think it looks kind of cute. I think maybe we need more of those illuminated snowflakes though. Yeah, I think we need to replace the red fence for sure and um, figure out what we're doing over here too. But we're gonna have to finish that tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. This has been day nine of Vlogmas. So there are eight other episodes for you to catch up on if you've missed any. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you wanna keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And I'll see you tomorrow.